Good evening. And tonight we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Stitched in Style Frankie Stein doll. Now, if you thought Vampire Heart Draculaura came out of nowhere, <laughs> this doll just popped out of the fucking ether a couple weeks ago. And here she is already just. It's crazy. It's crazy how many Monster High drops are happening right now all at once. But before we get into it, I just want to say that my channel is absolutely positively not for children in any way, shape, or form and is for adult collectors only. So it had been a little while since we got a collector Frankie doll. I believe the last one was Haunt Couture Midnight Runaway Frankie. <laughs> and in my opinion, that doll was kind of a flop by Monster High collector standards. Um, I mean, she's still available for sale now, <laughs> if that tells you anything. Um, I wasn't a fan of her. I didn't buy her. If she went on sale or something, because Mattel Creations sometimes does sales, very rarely. Um, but if she did, I might get her if she went on sale, maybe? Um, but anyway, I think that was the last Collector Frankie doll we got until this beautiful Stitched in Style doll. Oh my god, let me tell you, when we got the first images of her, everyone went crazy. I mean, look at her, look how beautiful she is. So let's take a look at the packaging first. She comes in this very simple box. It's it kind of reminds me of the um Gulux Gulia doll that came out several months ago. It's just a very standard box with, you know, some Frankie imagery stitched in style in the background of the box there's some like plaid drapery that matches her dress monster high some more frankie like lightning bolts and on the side just says monster high and the back just has some beautiful beautiful doll photography of her prototype, which is very similar to the final release. Frankie Stein is stitched together in a look that electrifies. Stitching style with edge, Frankie Stein stuns in a deconstructed couture gown that celebrates the timeless art of tailoring and dressmaking. Reminiscent of a dress mannequin, a halter bustier, with top stitching is paired with a ruched overskirt with asymmetric layers of creeperific tulle, accented with a dramatic chain, a gorgeous caged headdress with a crown of needles and matching chain bracelets creates high voltage fashion. Her look is finished with patchwork skeletos with the chick needle point heel. Elegant and electrifying Frankie Stein is perfectly pulled together in a look that will have ghouls falling apart at the seams. Oh my god, I love her so much. Like, <laughs> just from first impressions, she is one of my favorite Frankies of all time. Oh my god, <laughs> that photography. Oh my gosh, like, I know the prototype and the final release are very similar, but her eyes. Oh my god, look at those eyes. They look even more slanted than the final release. Like, Look at that. And then let's compare again to the final release. Oh yeah, sorry for the glare. But they are just a little bit more slanted than the prototype, unfortunately. I personally love like really slanted doll eyes. Really narrow doll eyes. I think it's just very beautiful. Um, But yeah, that's, that's it. She doesn't come with any accessories in the box or anything else. Um, you can see her doll stand right there. And that is all she comes with. So let's go ahead and get her out of the box. Here she is out of the box. And thankfully, the unboxing experience was a pleasant one. 
for the first time in like a long time because <laughs> lately I've been really struggling with opening some of these boxes but this one is very straightforward super super easy and she is stunning like oh my god she is beautiful let's take a look at her face first like the screening on Frankie is everything oh my god Look at that, like, gun metal, shiny lip, the blue eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Even her bangs are laid perfectly. Thank God. And as you can see, she's wearing this elaborate head crown <laughs> thing. Um, kind of similar to the Sculptimate Seek. Sculptimate Secrets Series 2 Frankie, where she had this like um, studded head man that was super, super cool. And it continues on to the back, like all along her hair, these plastic faux chains. Oh my gosh, look at the staples on the side of it. <laughs> that is so Frankie. And in the middle of it, behind the headband, she has this super cute little bun. Continues onto the other side too, of course. All along her hair. And then there's more pieces in the back that kind of get covered by her hair. Yeah, there we go. And they just have like little gears their little gears at the end of it super super cute and her hair is very long and very soft I really love how long her hair is uh it kind of feels like there might be just like a tiny bit of product in it but overall it's very very soft you could get away with not washing it if you didn't want to especially because of this crown <laughs> And by the way, the crown headband thing is held in place by this rubber band right here. And there's this little bit of hair in the middle that's from the bun. And it is such a beautiful, intricate hairstyle that you really don't see often with Monster High. God, and that piece up. Her earrings are the same, like, gray plastic and are they just chains um not 100% sure what exactly they are but to me they just kind of look like chains or maybe gears and it is the same earring on the other ear beautiful and she has her usual bolts in her neck and then running along her arm, she has this arm piece, or is it two? Okay, it's just one. She has this one arm piece that goes all along her arm in the same gray plastic that is very spiky, very spiky to the touch and looks very cool. And she does not have it on the other arm. And the top of her dress is this pleather halter top with some mesh netting above the pleather portion of the top. And it is tied in the back with a bow. And it is a separate piece. Yes, it is a separate piece from the skirt, which is beautiful. Beautiful because I really love this top. Oh my gosh. I really wish I could have multiple of this top. I really like it. It feels really nice. And then the main event is the skirt, obviously. Oh my gosh, this skirt is 
everything. And in typical Frankie fashion, it is asymmetrical. Um, but you will obviously notice the big poofy plaid portion first. It's uh, kind of like a satiny material, the plaid portion. And then there is this very, very long plastic belt in the same gray covering this entire portion of the skirt. It's in like spikes and safety pins and at the very bottom. Do you see that a pair of scissors? Oh my god that is so cute! Look at the pair of scissors! That is everything. I just love that hanging down like a little charm. That is so stinking cute. And it is just so beautiful. And at the bottom of the dress is this blue, like, metallic tool. And on the other side of the dress and underneath is just a basic black dress and you can see the blue tool underneath and then going to the back of the dress is just the beautiful blue tool it is very shiny and metallic in person and there is one singular layer of black tool as well Oh, and in the back, you can see just the, the basic black dress as well. <laughs> I can't go over how well designed this doll is, to be honest. Like, it all comes together so perfectly. Oh my god. Now Monster High is known for their shoes, so let's take a look at her shoes. They are gray, and I believe that it's just a gear, like the heel itself is just a gear, I think. If anyone else knows what this is, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is just a gear. And lifting it up a little bit. Oh, did that come undone? Oh, <laughs> her shoe came undone on that part. I will have to fix that because it's supposed to look like that. See? So I will definitely have to fix that and put her shoe back on. <laughs> she is stunning. Oh my god. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. She is on a saddle stand. And whoever created the saddle stand for dolls federal prison immediately for life seriously <laughs> this is a new saddle stand i believe i have never received a monster high doll with this type of saddle stand not even vampire heart draculaura if you watch that review came with this kind of saddle stand but yep it is a saddle stand but look at the base <laughs> it is an adorable gray skelet I actually really love the way it looks. I love the size of it. Like it's not too big like some of the other doll stands where they take up too much space. Um, it's actually a great size and looks super, super cute. I just wish it was not a saddle stand. I do not get the switch over to saddle stands for Monster High collector dolls. It's such a shame because they just never just in case you're curious, you can take off the this layer of the dress. It's just a bit of a hassle. You do have to undo like this one knob right here and then it's elastic. So you can't take it off. It's just a bit of a hassle. I don't really recommend it. Um, but this is what she looks like without that layer of the dress. And it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. It's just a 
basic black skirt with layers of tulle. And that is it. That is it. So I definitely recommend keeping that layer of the dress on but just in case you were curious this is what she looks like without it and yeah that is pretty much everything to show you again she did not come with any accessories not even a diary just the doll and the doll stand and that is it which is very disappointing, especially that they just completely stopped doing the doll diaries after bringing them back for Honk Couture, so that's that's still disappointing to me. Um, so I figured I would bring along a couple other amazing Frankie dolls to compare Stitched in Style Frankie to, especially because they're so similar. So here is Scary Tales of Frankie. And look how kind of similar they are in aesthetic. Like they look like they belong together, you know? Like they would look amazing together on a shelf. Like look at the, even the lipstick. <laughs> They're so, so pretty. The ruffles on the dress, the plaid detailing. Oh my, I see it. I see the vision. So stitched, stitched in Style Frankie is almost like an elevated version of the Scary Tales Frankie. She's even wearing a crown. Oh my god. That is amazing. And look at... So, you see? Look at that little scissors charm hanging on her dress. Well, look at Scary Tales Frankie shoes. Scissors. Scissors. Oh my god. These are some of the best Monster High shoes ever created. Oh my god. But do you see that? Do you see the vision? See, like the scissor shoes, and then there's a scissors charm on her dress. Like, oh my god. I see the vision. I see it. So, let's bring down Hot Couture Frankie herself. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the glare once again. Honkater, honkater. So, overall, I love this Frankie, just not the screening. Why they went with the G2 screening, I will never fucking understand. I will never understand what the fuck they were thinking. <laughs> but overall, like, the doll itself is amazing. See, there's Frankie's signature plaid with a black skirt underneath. Oh my gosh. Like, these three are the best Frankies ever created. Oh my gosh. See, this is why I hate saddle stands. They wobble. But anyway, these are the best Frankie dolls ever created. Oh my gosh. I love how they stick with the theme for G1, Frankie, at least. See, look at the plaid. Oh, my gosh. The way they all have plaid and their designs is just amazing. Can you imagine this Honkacha Frankie with the screening? That would be life-changing. Oh, my. Now, Honk Couture cost $75 when they released. And this Stitched in Style Frankie cost $50, and she was an Amazon exclusive. So what do you think? Compare Honk Couture 
just st stitched in style. Does that feel like a $25 difference to you? <sighs> For me, not quite. Like, I do see Honkature being more expensive than stitched in style. But $25, mm -mm -mm, not quite. I mean, Honkature Finky does come with a backpack and... I, I do think the quality of the fabrics on her outfits is a little bit more luxe feeling. Um, to me, these two are the most comparable. Now, she was, now, Scary Tales Frankie was Playline and she costs, I'm assuming, probably like $20 to $25 max when she released. Like, max. And she costs 50 cents. <laughs> Twice as much. Oh my gosh. When really there isn't much of a difference between these two. Oh my gosh. Not not too much. I mean, this is two layers. But really, there isn't that much of a difference. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. So... Again, she costs fifty dollars, and she costs between twenty to twenty-five max at retail when she released. Wow! So, do I think stitched in style Frankie is worth fifty dollars? <sighs> not technically, not technically, because again, you're not getting anything other than the doll and I mean the quality of the materials is nice it's really nice but really it doesn't feel much nicer than Playline um yeah <laughs> so not quite 50 I would have felt a lot more comfortable with 40 40 dollars would have been like my ideal price point for her um, but at the same time, she is worth it to buy because she is amazing. She is a top three Frankie doll for me. Like, these three right here are my top three Frankie Stein dolls. I, I don't know in quite what order, but for sure, they're my top three Frankie, so... She's definitely worth getting. Definitely worth getting. I definitely recommend Stitched in Style Frankie for sure. <laughs> she is amazing. I believe she is still in stock on Amazon, I think. Um, but yeah, she, she is definitely worth picking up. Oh, just looking at the different angles of her face. Oh my gosh. Um, again, she costs $50. She's an Amazon exclusive. And I think that is all I have for you. So comment down below. What do you think of Stitch and, Stitched in Style Frankie? Oh my god, try saying that three times fast. What do you think of Stitched in Style Frankie? Did you buy her? Are you going to be buying her? Are you going to be adding her to, to your collection? Any likes, shares, comments, and thoughts would be so, so very appreciated. I'm very interested in knowing your ranking of this Frankie because I know she is a lot of people's favorites. Like, she is like everyone's favorite Monster High doll right now. And I definitely see why. So yeah, let me know where Frankie lands in your ranking. Follow me on Instagram at Jackie Bella. Let's be friends. And again. Thank you so, so very much for watching. Bonus matches.